This is Cameron Chai from azom.com, bringing you another episode of Azo TV. And today we're speaking to Richard Namath from CLAS. And he's gonna tell us about their new Nano DS particle sizing instrument. Okay, uh, this is an exciting time for CLAS. Uh, we're here introducing the latest particle size analy analyzer from CLAS, the Nano DS. The Nano DS integrates not only dynamic light scattering, but also static light scattering. It is the ideal particle size analyzer if you're wanting to analyze particles from 0.3 nanometers to 10 microns. As I mentioned before, the Nano DS offers the best of both worlds, dynamic light scattering and static light scattering in a single instrument. The Nano DS has been developed for researchers, manufacturers, and quality control of nanoparticle size. The typically in the nanoparticle size market, nanoparticle size analyzers have been used by looking at brown in motion. Small particles will move quickly, larger particles will move more slowly. The problem is brown in motion does have some limitations. CLUS has overcome these limitations by integrating both dynamic light scattering and static light scattering in a single instrument. The beauty of this instrument isn't just the fact that we've integrated static light scattering and dynamic light scattering, but they work together. You use static light scattering, you scan all the variable angles, measuring the Brownian motion at multiple angles. The software will then identify which angle gave you the highest signal to noise. This is the angle that is best suited for that sample. As you can suspect, if you have two different samples, those samples will be, the scattering angle will be dependent on the material in your sample and also particle size. So let's say 65 degrees could be ideal for sample A, but if you have a different sample, 65 degrees will not be the best angle to measure Brownian motion. So the Nano DS overcomes these limitations by allowing the user to program a specific angle to perform dynamic light scattering. So what we have done is we've already run the sample, we put the sample in a cuvette, put that into the instrument, close the door, and since we've already performed static light scattering, we know which angle is best suited for measuring the Brownian motion. All the operator needs to do is hit start, and what I will do is expand the graphics to make it a little bit more visible. And you'll notice the first thing that happens is we never move the sample and we do not move the laser. We're moving the detector. The detector moves to zero degrees. It initializes a stepper motor. And now for this specific sample, we've determined that 60 degrees is the ideal angle. The detector is now moving to 60 degrees and we now start performing dynamic light scattering. Please note that the angle we're using was not set up by the vendor or your manufacturer. We're able to set a specific angle that is best tuned for your sample. And now we have completed the analysis of the sample. All of the data is stored in a database. You can export the data, you can print the results. And that is the conclusion of the analysis using the Sealess Nano DS. So this concludes the presentation of the Sealess Nano DS. Uh, the sample you've got there is a, a monomodal distribution. How does it deal with, with something like, for instance, with a bimodal distribution? Okay. Does, that, does, does the effect, the angle of the detector compensate for that? Uh, a great question. That is one of the limitations of traditional dynamic light scattering instruments. With the Nano DS, we've included a static light scattering. So in the cases where you have a multimodal distribution curve, instead of performing a dynamic light scattering, the same instrument will run what's called a static light scattering. That is a better approach to particle size analysis than dynamic light scattering. Again, that's one of the benefits of the Sealess Nano DS. If you have any questions, if you would like to have our lab run some samples for you, or if you wish to have a product manager visit you to perform an on-site demonstration, please contact CLAS at www.celas.com. That's C-I-L-A-S.com. Thank you for your time. All right, Richard, thanks very much for taking a few minutes to tell us about the Nano DS. Okay, thank you.